New Englanders are funny people. We bitch when it's hot, we bitch when it's cold. And considering this is one of the harshest environments in the country uh, and all the temperature swings and the climate swings, uh, this was one of the hot days. Uh, reached the mid 90s today. Um, I was at work all day and I didn't really mind because the air conditioned climate and according to uh, the tracking folks at our favorite uh, auction site, I think I have a few packages in uh, my inbox. And I'm not going to uh, call this an unboxing video because I don't think there's any boxes. Uh, I th I'm gonna call it a unpacking video and let's see what we got. Oh, hay dirt. Looks like there's one box in there, a few packages. Let's see what we got. So I am going to uh, bitch a little bit. Uh, not because there's a box here, which there is. Uh, we've got three packages. Um, one package which was supposed to arrive uh, a few days ago and the seller has uh, become uh, a phantom all of a sudden and uh, we still don't have a package. He supposedly shipped it but did not provide a, a USPS tracking number. So um, that was supposed to arrive on the 9th uh, several days ago. Uh, we're going to give him another day and then... Uh, I guess uh, uh, pull a Jerry Seinfeld and uh, air all uh, grievances, but let's open up uh, this first uh, package, see what we got. Pretty cool. We've got a replacement belt and instructions uh, on how to replace it for the realistic model TR-169, which is my eight track machine. Now I've already um, done most of the cleaning on the capstan. I've cleaned and demagnetized the heads. There's a couple of things I want to do uh, that are left and I'll probably do that on a uh, separate video but here's our belt and um, you know the belt Given the age of the machine, almost 30 years old, uh, the, the original belt was pretty much intact. A little loose, but why not? For 11 bucks, we're gonna replace it and put, put this new one on. So, pretty happy to have that. I went a little crazy uh, Xing all this stuff out, but you know there's uh, freaks up on uh, YouTube who will do anything they can to steal identities, including reading barcodes and reading addresses. So anyways, we're going to open this next package up. I, I think I know what this might be. And I think it's a cartridge. Could be wrong, but I think it is. Probably open it from the side. I know I'm doing this one handed. Yes. <laughs> Bob Dylan's Planet Waves on the Asylum label. This is the one that has Forever Young on it. I think they split it up, you know, which w would kind of piss me off. It looks like we've got it on program two and the beginning of program three, which will kind of suck, but there you have it. And I'm already seeing issues with it. Looks like our, looks like our tape is a little bit of a mess here. We'll open it up, see what we got. I can hit the stop button. All right, does not look great, but looks like the tape is intact and the um, pads on the inside are uh, pretty much destroyed. The label is in amazing shape. I know some of the people who collect these things are like label freaks, but 
you don't, as I mentioned on my last video several times, you don't listen to labels. Um, but blue cartridge label looks really great. Just doubled my uh, Dylan output with this second cartridge. I, I showed in an earlier video I have his uh, greatest hits. But pretty happy to have this one. And we'll, uh, we'll give it a play later on. See how it sounds. Official Flea Bay tape. Some of you call it eBay. I call it Flea Bay. Because some of these guys and gals selling their crap. Uh, on that uh, auction site are such flim flam artists and such con men um, you got to be really careful when you buy this stuff and hopefully uh, this my, my this is about to be I, I guess we'll call this my first unboxing but I'm going to open this box I think I know what's in here but uh, we'll take a look doesn't look like a bad packing job. Uh, looks like we've got um, some bags in here from everyone's favorite uh, brick and mortar retailer. Looks like that looks like Walmart gray. Uh, a couple of other white bags. Oh, there it is. The Who. Meaty, beady, big, and bouncy. This is kind of cool. I've, I've never seen this before. A Esmond dust cap. Remove to play, replace to store. And there we go. Looks like some of the pad is intact. Looks like that middle one is going to need some work. Tape is intact. On the DECA label, I can't explain. The kids are all right. Substitute, pinball wizard. My Generation, Magic Bus, uh, Happy Jack. I can't explain it. It is really, e even though it's probably less than three minutes long, it's just one of my favorite, favorite all-time songs. And this is my first Who on 8-track. Um, pretty happy to have this one. I'll do a, a follow-up video on uh, the tape that still has not arrived. I have to reach out to the seller. And uh, just beware of Flim Flam artists on Flea Bay. They, they are out there, guys, and they're dying to rip people off. And uh, luckily, uh, Flea Bay makes it difficult to get ripped off. Um, I, I got to say, the stuff that came here today, I'm pr pretty happy with. Um, we'll find out when the rubber hits the road and I fire these suckers up, uh, how they sound. I, I think I'm going to put that new belt in first. And, um, anyways, this is kind of cool. Esmond dust cap. We'll put the dust cap on and we'll close out this, uh, video. Um, that's it for now and, uh, happy playing, happy hunting. Take care.